Uh, hello, it's me again. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, generate synthetic data with the Omniverse Isaac Sim uh, uh, synthetic data generator and uh, uh, give it like some animation and then export it out in the kitty format so we can use it with uh, um, the Tau toolkit. So first of all, Let's launch it. Oh, by the way, this is uh, the Isaac Sim only works on Linux. And then generally, you just download this launcher right here and click on it, and then you get to this. And I've already, I'm, I'm already, uh, 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 just uh, suspecting that you guys have already got this all set up for you. So we're going to go straight to the the generating the synthetic data. So we click launch here. And then here's where we choose, uh, right, we're going to use the Isaac Sim, but when we generate the synthetic data in the kitty format, we're going to go back to the terminal mode. So let's just start right here with the Isaac Sim. Oh, by the way, um, uh, you need a, a, an RTX, at least an RTX 3070 to like get some use out of this without like really bogging down. I didn't have that, so I had to rent one uh, with the paper space and rent it a an RTX uh, 5000 and it's like 89 cents uh, an hour so I mean it, it, it works just just fine waiting for everything to load okay so the first thing we're going to do is uh, uh, let's pull some uh, objects out here and, and uh, kind of see what we got so first of all um, when you when you set this all up um, you're going to download uh, some uh, data from uh, NVIDIA and it'll end up in this uh, localhost section right here. So uh, there's a lot of things in here. So we'll go to Isaac. Uh, we want props. And there's a bunch of stuff in here. So we'll grab a forklift. Click on that. Props. Let's make this bigger. All right, forklifts. So we'll just drag a forklift up there, right there. Um, let's just drag another forklift up there, right there. And then uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. There's shapes, pallets, mounts, uh, robot arms, dolly. There's a dolly in here. If you want a dolly. And then down here in the NVIDIA folder, they have some uh, more stuff. They have like people and stuff like that. So let's go to assets. Uh, we want characters. Uh, Reillusion. So we got a worker, an orc. So let's, get, let's pull a worker up here. A worker. There. And then let's pull a work how about an work up there it's pulling the work there okay so uh, now we got our objects up there so the next thing we do is what we have to do is we have to make sure that these objects for when the the the, the application converts us over to a kitty format we got to make sure that these items have the classes associated to them and what I mean by that is just take the uh, the forklift here Open it up, forklift, and if you go down here to uh, schematic schema editor, this this is the cl the class this class is forklift. So for it to recognize that, uh, all these have to be in a class. So the forklifts have them. So let's go to the orc. The orc doesn't have one. So let's go to orc. Click on that, and then we want to add a class. We want the class. This class is going to be called orc and then we add it update it and so we update it and then the next thing we do is we want to add the, see if the human has a, or the person has a s class worker there's no class associated with it now, this is the, what we did earlier, so it kind of just has that stuff in case you're kind of duplicating a lot of things. So we'll just replace this with worker. 
and then add it. Uh, update it. So let's go ahead and save this. We might as well save this. Save as. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my Omniverse folder, localhost, projects. These are all the projects I've been working on. Um, and then we'll call it test6. And we'll save. Okay, so now we got our items right here. And we got it saved. So uh, what we need to do is we want to, uh, you know, we can uh, run this through the... Uh, the, the application, but none. This will not move. It'll just sit still. So we need to add some randomness to this. So kind of pick one. Let's pick the, the forklift, and uh, I'm gonna put some synthetic data. Put synthetic data, domain randomization components, and let's give it rotation. So we're gonna rotate it. Now, if you notice that rotation shows up here, but the thing about this, even though it shows up here with the forklift. I can apply this rotation to like just about anything on there and I'll show you. So the first thing we do is let's click on this rotation component. Go back over here to properties. Let's kind of move this up. There we go. So we want the rotation component. Uh, so we click on it and we go to raw USD properties right here. And what happens is we want to add the target. Now this is what this rotation component is going to apply to. So well, first of all, let's just clear this out. Zero. And then we're going to make this a 180. So I want them to, when it rotates, I want it to do a 180. I think that's what it is. It's going to make it move. And then we want to add a target. So we add this target. We're going to add... The forklift. So we'll add that. And then, like I say, even though it's with this forklift, this rotation uh, component can be used just about anything. So let's uh, let's rotate the uh, orc. So let's add the orc on there. I need that. Let's go back to that. I want to add um, the orc. Okay, well, let's save this. Now, what happens if I run this arrow? It's gonna, if there's any motion in there, it's going to execute it. And this is what's gonna happen when it runs through the viewport finder. Let's see. See, these are rotating. And this guy's got some motion. So, but anyway, we've, we've, we've added this rotation to it. So, let's stop this. And let's go ahead and, and uh, then this one, let's add this, a scale to this. We'll make the scale up and down. So synthetic data, domain, components, we're going to scale it. So let's see, forklift, scale comp component. Like I say, even though it's associated here, this scale component can be used to like scale any of these items. <coughs> <clears throat> so let's go to scale component. Um, we're going to add a target. We're going to add the other forklift. Forklift 2. Add that. And then, uh, then let's see what happens. Let's save it. You can see it like these are rotating and this is scaling up and down. So let's uh let's rotate this guy too here and then let's add some color to to this guy to the orc. Let's make him besides rotating add color. So I go back to my rotation component and I want to add the the uh, the worker. Add the worker, and then uh, let's go back to the orc here, and I want to add some color, make him change colors. 
So the work, where did the color go? Color component. And I'm just going to leave this blank. But here's what it is. <clears throat> we got to add the to add the target. That's what we do in all the other ones. We're adding the target. We're, what they're associating this component to. So this is where we add the target. So we're going to get the orc. Add him. So now what we've done is we've uh, we've added uh, the rotation component, this forklift to this orc. We've added the scaling component to this uh, forklift. And I think we've added the rotation component to this worker and the color component to this work. So once we run it, see that he's going to do color and rotate. They're rotating. This one's scaling. So we're getting randomization, and that's what we want. So now that we've got this, uh, let's go and uh, generate the this data for the... Uh, um, and the for the towel toolkit in the kitty data data form. So let's save. And let me just double check some of these things. Does it work? Yes, that's there. I just want to make sure their classes are with them. Okay. So we save this. And then we're going to close this down because we're going to use the terminal next. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to do this offline. This is the, the documentation for the, uh, I, the Omniverse Isaac uh, Sim. And, and there's all kinds of things in here. But what we're going to do is we're going to do offline data generation. So what happens is we start this again. And we're going to open it in terminal. So we have this. So let's minimize this and this and this. So anyway, so as you can see, this is where we generate. Uh, we use the the application to gener to take the 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 data that we've created in the Omni Omniverse Isaac Sim, and we're going to take that and we're going to. Uh, get images of it and then we're going to annotate it so uh, this is kind of what we're going to do let me get this up here so what happens is uh, it's a scenario that's what it's looking for and, and we're going to use that one test six let's go back up here we've created uh, test six and that has all our components and then the next one is the number of frames we're going to get. And this is just the total number of frames we're going to capture. And then uh, the data directory, this defaults to, I'll show you where it defaults to. So you can change it if you're not. If you don't, it defaults to an output directory. I'll show you where that is. And then we have the writer mode right here. So this will either put it in the, the, the NPY format or the kitty format. So what we do is when we want it in the kitty format, we get two more options. We get classes. This is if we want to just have it look for specific classes that we want. So we want to look at everything. And this is the training size. This is how many items we want in the training set. So what we'll do here is, let me go here. Uh, local, share, OV, package, Isaac Sim, output. So this is where the this is where it'll end up at. So let's just get rid of these because we're going to make new new ones. So let's take this down here. Oh, and then we'll go ahead and run this. And like I say, there's all of these other things down here, and, and this kind of goes to explain what's going on. Let's run this. While we're going through this, we're writing in the kitty format. We're getting 50 frames and we're taking 40 of those and we're putting them aside for the training. Let's go ahead and run this. Now, over here, you know, this goes to this explains kind of what's going on, all the scripting that's done. Um, and then, you know, if you need to make any changes, <clears throat> if you got two viewports, this will run two viewports. 
um, then where it saves it to and uh, and it goes to explain kind of what's going on and uh, and that's basically what the purpose of this is we want to generate synthetic data so we can get it in the kitty format so we can put it in uh, the tau toolkit or the transfer learning toolkit for that that's how what it used to be called and then let's see and then this goes how to this is just explaining like what happens when you put it in the towel toolkit what you do but that's a whole what we'll do that'll be another uh, uh, a video that I do is when we actually take this data and run it through the towel toolkit and deploy it into um, the uh, Jetson Nano what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a uh, people and uh, forklifts and I'm gonna train it on that and then I'm gonna run it on a live video and see how well it does so we're, we're done over here so as you see we made the testing and training uh, folders so if you go to testing images you know this is what we we captured and you can see they're they're randomizing themselves so that's good that's what we need we need randomization and then if we go to let's get on to that if we go back, let's see, there, output, training, and like I say, there's the same images, this is some training images. This, they, they randomize themselves because we put them in, in those components to the objects. And then uh, the other thing, we go back here and, and we pick a label. And there, it's got a forklift, worker, orc. So it sees that. Uh, so it picked everything up. Now this is uh, everything we'll need to run it in forklift, worker, orc. This is everything we'll need to run it in the the, the towel toolkit. Because now it is in the uh, kitty format. And we just like, insert it in there. Now, uh, another thing we can do is let's add a little more randomization. So here's like the images. And as you see now... They just kind of randomize by themselves. So we're going to randomize the camera so we get more angles of what's going on. So what we do is we go to um, start this again. Let's close this. We're going to go back to launch. Uh, Isaac Sim. So go back here and we'll let's make this bigger and then we'll bring up what we had so as you can see here it is here's what we have and so when we run it it looks like this everybody's moving so now we want a little more randomization. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a camera that moves. So we go to perspective, camera. We want to create a camera from view. So now we got a camera here. So what we want to do is we go back up here to synthetic data, domain randomization component, and we want to give it movement. Now we've got a movement component on here. So we open that up, go to the raw USD properties. And what we're going to do is we're going to check this. We want to enable look at targets because we're going to give it some targets. And then we're going to add the targets, which will be these items here. So it'll randomize them. It'll randomize looking at them. So we want the forklift, add. We want to add the other one. Let's add the orc. And then let's add the worker. You can add them all if you want, but it's just some more angles to look at the worker. Add. So now that we added those, and so then we come down here, and this is the primary path. This is the camera. So we need to tell it, look at the camera. And this. The camera. Add. 
And then this is the parameters we could do for randomization. Now, I wasn't too sure about this, so I just copied it from something else, from another application, from another example, excuse me. So we just do this. Minus 400, 600. Let's see what do we got there? Uh, minus 11, 60, and 15, 40. Minus 11, 60. Yeah, we need the minus in there. Fifteen forty. See what else? One hundred and five hundred. I'm getting them from right here. This is just from another example I've copied from. One hundred five hundred. Let's go ahead and save this. And this is what happens when we run it now. We, we want this camera. Let's change this wording of this camera so we know what it is. Let's change it to uh, rename. Camera move. Okay, so now we picked camera move up here. And let's go ahead and run this. See, the camera's actually moving around. Besides the components randomizing, now the camera's also randomizing also. So this gives us a whole bunch of other um, angles to look at, and that's what we need. We need data, a lot of data of the items with different angles and rotations and that kind of stuff. So so this is pretty much uh, the the what you need. I mean, you can play with this, and a lot of times, uh, if you want, there's environments over here that you can add environments to it. Let's see. Before we do that, let's just save this. Save. Okay. And then you can add an environment to this. In, uh, if you wanted to. If you wanted to actually be in an actual warehouse. See. Uh, full warehouse. Let's see if it'll just... Hopefully, it'll leave our components and everyone have to drag new components out there. But you could have started out with this warehouse and then just put your guys in here. The thing about it, though, is like when you uh, do your kitty data set, it's going to get all these items in, and annotate them and put them in the kitty format for you. So you see what do we got here? Our forklift and stuff, they're around there somewhere. Okay. Anyway, so this you get the idea. You can put it in here. So let's close this out, and then uh, I'm going to show you like what it looks like when you try and uh, put it in the kitty format with the extra movement camera. It's don't save. Stop it, Daisy. Stop. So anyway, now we're back to, we still got this open up from the uh, earlier ter terminal. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's uh, do the same thing, but we should be able to get, uh, we'll get the same pictures, but the more ran randomized. Let's go over here. Let's see, is it done? Anyway, there's a lot of stuff in this Omniverse documentation, how to set it up. Um, and there's the other, there's other replicator tutorials 
But the, this offline data generation tutorial is the only one that allows you <clears throat> to save it in the kitty uh, format. And that's really kind of the, the what the uh, uh, the Tau toolkit likes. I mean, it can do the other ones. It can do this other one they have. But, you know, the majority of examples in the Tau toolkit uh, use the uh, kitty format. So let's see. So we go back to here, training, image. See, we should have more randomized images. You see, they're they're much they're the same images with their with their randomization. Plus, we got different camera angles. So we got that, and then we should have our annotations should still be there. Our labels. Yeah, so orc, forklift, you know, and then over here, forklift, forklift, worker, orc, forklift. So there's a lot of randomization. Okay, so so anyway, we have one more thing to do, and I'm going to show you, uh, like, close this out. So let's say you have a lot of things, like a warehouse full of stuff, and you don't want to save all of it in the kitty format so you can go to here you can add this extra function is called classes and you can specify like uh, what you want to be saved and annotated so we're going to say we only want the orcs so orc let's just go back here local Anyways, there's a lot of other things. There's a lot of more um, replicator tutorials. But like I say, the only the one, only the one tutorial uh, allows you to save it in the kitty format. These other ones, they're pretty good. These up replicator playgrounds and all this stuff, they, they, they're pretty good. But uh, so I talked to them and they said these other ones in the next generation, these other samples will be allowed. You can save it into the kitty format, so that's pretty good. So that'll give us more options. So we go back up here to training. This is redone. Images. You see, it still sees all the images, but now it should only annotate the the orcs that are in the images. See, it only it only looks for the orc. So like I say, if you had a whole warehouse full of stuff and you didn't want everything in the warehouse, you could just pretty much tell it what you want, like the specific things that you like, and then you, would, you wouldn't have to do all that extra work. All right, that's about it. Um, what I'm going to do is, as you can see, what we've produced is we produced um, images in the kitty format, and we'll be able to take these two folders right here, put them over to the towel toolkit, and and do our transfer learning just with what we've got here all right so the next video after this that's what it's going to be i'm going to take this run it through the towel toolkit and deploy it to a jetson nano xavier nx and just see what we get all right thank you bye